Clarkston, Michigan, the greatest city in the world. It's the Jose Aliaga Show. Jose Aliaga knows everyone. Get to know him as he interviews some of the most fascinating people from the greater Independence Township area. And now, broadcasting from the studios at Clarkston High School, the home of the state champion wolves, here's Jose Aliaga. Welcome to the Jose Aliaga Show. Today we have a special guest, and we're going to talk about a special, a very special topic that something is going on in America. We have two special guests today, Jackie Smurka and Dr. Stephen Boone. They're going to talk about today about uh, nutrition and about obesity surgery. You know, when somebody gets a surgery, usually because many people in America are overweight, and they get this special surgery where most, some people I hear around the street saying it's a staple, it's stapled in your stomach and then you lose weight. But what happened after? You have repercussions. And we're gonna talk today about that. What happened after and what we need to do or follow up with to improve our health. How are you doing? Very, Guys? very well, Jose. Good, Jose. good, good. So Jackie, tell us more about, oh, about this uh, problem that's common in America. As we know, a lot of people are, are getting um, overweight mm -hmm. because the nutrition is probably wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's a common problem in America because I go right. different other countries that the nutrition is, uh, is, I would say, a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we would need to eat healthy, obviously. So mm -hmm. tell me more about this. I mean, Well, we do have an obesity problem, obviously, in the United States. It's in other countries as well. We have really more of like an uh, uh, epidemic type of a situation here. Uh, therefore, it does call for some more heavy-duty work for the patient. And sometimes bariatric or obesity surgery is what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, they choose to do that. I have worked in the field of bariatric surgery for the past uh, 30 years and have worked with almost all types of procedures that are out there. Approximately 180,000 people have obesity surgery yearly, nationwide. So it is a popular method and it's a very, very good method uh, and has proven successful to a point. Uh, what we are concerned about, Dr. Boom and myself, is the loss of follow-up for a lot of these individuals. And when we see a patient that's had surgery 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, we're not necessarily talking to, about the ones that had surgery at six months ago because they're still doing well. Mm -hmm. But for those who have had surgery out as far as 10, 12, 20 years, mm -hmm. they are frequently lost to follow-up and have a tendency to regain their weight. Uh, we talked earlier about problems with uh, a transfer addiction to alcohol and various things. And so that is a part of the reason why Dr. Boom and I have joined together to be able to help this particular particular patient population regarding their follow-up to get them on a healthy road. Many have regained weight, mm -hmm. so that is the reason why we feel we can help them. Mm -hmm. And why people regain weight? Why? I believe a lot of the reasons from my standpoint, because I do the metabolic monitoring of these patients, is that they're not taking proper supplements, they're obviously their nutritional status is pretty bad. So I believe that really is the reason why they have a tendency to start regaining weight. And of course, as I have said for years, I believe the most important piece to this is a psychology piece, which is the reason why Dr. Bloom and I have worked together for several years. Mm -hmm. And we believe that that's a very important thing to address mm -hmm. for a lot of individuals. Of course. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bloom, we yes. talk about people that got done this, and she just says that. Mm -hmm. You change addiction, obviously, the eating a lot, unhealthy, to another addiction. What, kind, what are the other addictions that, that people usually replace with? Well, there, there are many addictions. Uh, I mean, it could be alcohol, it could be some sort of uh, street drug like cocaine or um, oh. ecstasy. Um. So you're talking about somebody who, is, who was just overweight, who didn't have those addictions before, mm -hmm. and get yes. the surgery, 
after six, seven, or ten years, mm -hmm. they just switch addiction to drugs. I mean, no. if in fact it, it, some people have a, an addiction to food, mm -hmm. so when when they get rid of that addiction or, or really they replace the addiction mm -hmm. with another addiction, and that other addiction could take many forms. Oh, interesting. Right. Uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. So how how we can help people with this condition? People, they already got this mm -hmm. surgery, that um, obesity surgery, obviously they did that because I assume they want to improve their health. Right. Right? right. But then they switch with the night addiction, so how we can help? Well, we believe in sort of more of a holistic approach to this whole thing. We're not seeing, and when we talk about transfer addiction, we're not mm -hmm. saying that that's the majority by any means, but it's something that we are very cognizant about. Mm -hmm. So we do really want to be able to look at that as a, an issue. We have a lot of other issues that we need to address. Mm -hmm. So basically, as a holistic approach, we're having these mm -hmm. um, uh, individuals come in to us, uh, they, use, they will come in and see me first. I will look at and with a lot of talking find out about what their nutritional status is and how they are and what kind of blood work they've had run, who's following them. Our ultimate goal is to also help the physician, the family physician who really is not familiar with bariatric surgery and the types of things that can go wrong mm -hmm. with that particular patient right. nutrition wise mm -hmm. and that we can now go back and work with that bariatric or with that primary care physician and say we believe that this is what the issue is and we can help you work with this patient. So it's working together, we're pulling in the family physician as a team member as well as the patient as the primary team member of this whole program. I see. Mm -hmm. So you guys offer obviously that services that will help to people to uh, improve for that stage and right. get better and obviously uh, try to reduce the, the other, to mm -hmm. get involved in other addictions. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, uh, how you reach out to these people? How you guys? Um well, we've, um, Jackie has seen mm -hmm. many of these patients for nutritional deficiencies over mm -hmm. the years, and many of those same patients I see for psychological support. Uh, there's an old saying, it's all in your head. <laughs> it's really quite true, and, and sometimes it's not good mm -hmm. if what's in your head is causing you to, to behave in a way that's making you unhealthy. True, because you mentioned before, you said some people actually get the surgery not because uh, they want to actually be healthy, but just because they want to look good. Right. And that's a problem right there, correct? Right. They just want to, to lose the weight. That's what, you know, permanently, they think it's going to help them to permanently mm -hmm. lose the weight. What many people don't realize is the many changes they will have to make in their lifestyle mm -hmm. in order for the surgery to be successful in the long term. Mm -hmm. I see. I think a lot of people uh, realize when they go into bariatric surgery it's not a quick fix and it's not the easy way out it's right. a very difficult process to take after all it's surgery it's a major surgery and the idea is is that once you have this procedure you want to be healthy and live healthy afterwards at a certain point and the weight is lost and then all of a sudden they start putting on some weight, there's a, a problem that they start to sometimes kind of get a little bit uneasy thinking they're going to regain all of their weight back when in fact that's the time they should go back to their bariatric surgeon or to their primary care and say, I need some help with this because I can't get back to the weight that I was. Um, s revisional surgeries can happen. They're not the best thing that can happen by any means right. because frequently they do not work well. So we do want to make sure that we can do all we can do non-surgically to be able to help that person get to a weight that is not in the um, lower end of the spectrum, but where they are feeling comfortable and where they're feeling healthy at a particular weight. It's like you, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted to get down and you started doing your thing, and that's in order to get your weight down, and that's what we want our patients to do is their thing so that they can get to a good weight and live healthy with that for many years. True, true. Mm -hmm. If some, you know, a lot of people is watching that now, and probably a lot of people is wondering, oh, well, I'm interested for what you guys offer. These services can help me to improve, because probably a lot of people are watching right now already got a surgery and they're concerned. Mm -hmm. 
how they can reach you and how they can also reach you and how they can start this. The name of the company is actually Beyond Change and it's living a healthy life after bariatric surgery or after weight loss surgery and we have a website and the website is on the screen right now on the phone number and right. we can be called mm -hmm. and actually contacted by way of the website as well. It is uh, something that we would like everybody to know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we would like everybody to know that we are working very closely with each individual that comes in, more on a one-to-one, -one, mm -hmm. and not in a large group, but more on a one-to-one. -one. We have a good series on, called Normal Eating. It's mm -hmm. a 10-week course. Uh, we have connections with, and we're going to be working with uh, physical um, rehab people and the exercise people and the exercise mm -hmm. specialists so and, and nutrition so we're working really holistically with that individual on an individual basis okay let's see but so you say before we before we were in cameras you were saying that if they would start with this process they start with you right right they meet with you they have right. an interview and then you right bring a support and then goes to exactly, Dr. Bohm, exactly. now also People realize when they got a surgery, they cannot eat like used to, but they need uh, they need somehow to get enough vitamins or enough uh, mm -hmm. I mean good energy, I mean nutrition, supply, nutrition, right. yeah, right. nutrition to get mm -hmm. that. So you was talking about some vitamins. That you We're really doing. Know. We are working closely with Celebrate Vitamins. My patients have started uh, taking them primarily because they're less expensive, but they are actually geared toward a person that has had bariatric surgery. Mm -hmm. So it makes it healthier and economically better for that individual to be able to take a supplement that's a quality supplement specifically for weight loss. And it's not maybe for someone that's just had bariatric surgery, but someone that is trying to lose weight and stay healthy because it's very important that their nutritional status stays at a very, very uh, comfortable and healthy level. Mm -hmm. So Celebrate Vitamins is um, the company that we chose to work with. I see. Do you guys believe in somehow we need to educate more people or citizens to be able to be more proactive, to to be more in looking at the ways always to avoid this? I mean, it seems like or nutrition or cultural nutrition is no mm -hmm. good because you know right. everybody's the tendency is gain a lot of weight and people are not proactive to do exercise or something. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? Well, I think the younger you can start with a person, and I, obviously this would be the parent's mm -hmm. uh, job to, to educate their children toward good nutrition mm -hmm. and help them to understand that this is going to help them to have a better quality of life, mm -hmm. not just in weight control, but in how they feel um, mentally, physically, emotionally, how their social interactions are in life. Mm -hmm. All of that can be improved. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's good because some people believe, oh no, this is not for me, that's impossible, I mm -hmm. cannot do this. But the reality is I, I met people that actually try and soon as they start doing exercise, eating better, they like right. that style, mm -hmm. and then improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this. We sort of work on that empowerment method mm -hmm. between Dr. Boom and myself to empower them to be able to know that they can do and they can improve their health and lose weight at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not a, a diet per se. Mm -hmm. uh, we use the term diet as meaning um, in this case that it's letting the person, the individual, work with what they can work with, mm -hmm. what their skills are to be able to help them lose weight for years, long term. I mean, that's what's very important. Not just relying on surgery, not just relying on Dr. Boom and myself, or relying on liquid diets or any, mm -hmm. any fad diets that are out there. Um, my of thing course. about fad diets is that they are short-lived. If you have mm -hmm. a liquid diet, you can only take it for so long and then it stops. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily help the individual work with something themselves and to empower themselves. So we're really working on that method now. Right, your, right. your, your service is uh, unique because it's for people that already got the, the surgery, that they're already mm -hmm. struggling right. and trying to get other addictions. And there's a psychologic problem that mm -hmm. also needs a special treatment, yes, which exactly. is a special, yeah. No, I understand. No, what I was saying before is talking about just normal people then actually get in the way that they right. need the surgery and then 
-hmm. but they can avoid that by being more proactive too. Exactly. But now that once they have the surgery, for sure they're gonna need your services because right. mm -hmm. I right. mean you guys are professional in the issue because it's something new. It's not something that has been for more than ten years, right? The um, surgery. The surgery has uh, uh, surgery has been out for many many years oh, since really? way back in the seventies. There was bariatric oh, surgery started mm. then. Yes, uh -huh. it's gone. It's it's been an ebb and flow process. It's been a really cool thing to be involved with bariatric surgery and then a not so cool thing. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows somebody that died you know, during having bariatric surgery. So that yeah. went through a very scary process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, not no. so much. Uh, death rates are pretty minimal. And I'm still a proponent for bariatric surgery, but do believe that as re is required by most insurances, they have to have a BMI of over 40, which pretty much means that they need a, a, a 100 pounds additional to what their ideal body weight should be, uh, or if they're a little under, they should have other comorbidities such as diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension, sleep apnea, that type of thing. Exactly. So it, it, it's, it, it's multifaceted, you know. It's something that a person has to go into having surgery knowing exactly what they're doing and knowing that it is a support system. It is not a quick fix, nor does it last forever. Oh, no obesity surgery really lasts forever. It does take mm -hmm. work on the part of the patient as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. It's very important information because um, I, I, I know I hear about that a lot and people that got the surgery and then and become addicted to something that people say, wow, you started drinking a lot and how that happened? Mm -hmm. And people don't find the, the clue what, what really start this exactly. to replace this addiction and right. mm -hmm. it's important services and what you do. So when people look your website, it, it, so you just go on www and see them then is yeah. I, I put it there again for the people just tune in. Right. And that so the number to call is two four eight four seven five four five twenty four. Yes. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the website is very uh, we just got the website finished, but we're adding more to it from the articles that Dr. Boom has written and I have written myself regarding follow up of bariatric patients. Mm -hmm. So it's there's going to be more added to it, but this is definitely a good contact. We are located at University in seventy five. Uh, right on university. Mm -hmm. oh, we're, so we're very close. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're okay, very close okay, to it. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, are you guys also going to be um, doing some events, some awareness, a workshop or something? We will do workshops. I know that we're going to be mm -hmm. doing workshops. We're working mm -hmm. closely with the Faith in Action of Oakland County. Oh. And so we're going to be working with that as well. That's sort of our fun job. <laughs> good, our, good. Our charity job. So. I see. I see. Okay. Well, I believe that with the website, people can be, people will be able to to reach both of you and right. the number for both of you. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And obviously, if there's more questions, we mm -hmm. will be able to answer them in person. Mm -hmm. Of course. More of questions. course. Of course. Mm -hmm. I, I believe a lot of people that watch the show today and said that the information you just shared with us probably very interesting because they probably would know someone. They probably already got the surgery and they're like, yes. you know, they're concerned and they would like to share the information. So say, hey, we saw the show and we saw that this information is important for you improve your health. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and it's a common problem. I, I know people that got the surgery and I know mm -hmm. that uh, some of them are already um, struggling, so I will let them know about you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, before we end, any, anything that uh, you like, any advice for everybody that's watching now? I would say uh, uh -huh. what we all need is, you know, people often say diets don't work. Actually, they do work. The problem is when they, they get to the point where they lose the weight they want to lose, they stop the diet. Mm -hmm. So what we all need is a, um, I wouldn't call it a diet, but a, a nutritional program mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we can stay on in, for, you know, indefinitely. To mm -hmm. live with, yes. And that will improve the quality of our lives. Right. I see. Very good. Very much. Very good. Well, thank you, thank you, and Jackie. Thank you, again, it was nice, nice to see to you. Nice to see you again. Yes, Jose. and thank you, Dr. Boom, to came and. Thank you for Jay. having us, Jose. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. Well, that's all for today. And if you want to be in the Jose Aliaga show, please call us at two four eight seven three six seven one six three, or you can follow us on Facebook, and you can also send us a message to the Jose Aliaga show on Facebook. Thank you and have a blessed day.